guys and welcome back to my channel Shanice here and today <laughs> why do I laugh before I start talking today I'm going to be talking about well as y'all see by the title this is a story time this is the story time I haven't, I haven't done one of these in a little while so I figured let me hop on camera and just tell a story because this story is uh how do you say it was a little crazy a little crazy um, yeah so we're just gonna get right into it because y'all really won't believe how dumb I really was okay <laughs> so let's get into the story all right so this story happened I don't know probably like two years ago two three years ago I um, met this guy on this dating app um, and we were talking back and forth, things were cool, you know, uh, after that we, you know, exchanged numbers and whatnot, and we were talking back and forth, and then he was like, how about, you know, we go on a little date or whatever, and I was like, okay, cool, we could do that, we could do that, there's nothing wrong with that. So, he decided that, um, just to make it a little bit more comfortable for the both of us, that, you know, why don't you bring a friend, and I'll bring a friend, we can both bring a friend, and just have a little, you know, double day, just so you feel comfortable, and I was like, alright, cool, I like how you're thinking, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to make it too awkward, you know, just have a little good time, and whatnot, so, that's exactly what we did, I brought a friend, and, um, he brought a friend as well, and so, we decided we're gonna go bowling, so, we found a bowling alley, that was like in the middle of where we lived like in between both of us so me and my friend get to the bowling alley and we are actually we got there first before they did so we were sitting there waiting waiting and waiting and they finally show up mind you I already see what he looked like so it's not like I'm like oh my god I don't know what he looked like I, I know all these things so I've seen him before on FaceTime and whatnot We've talked multiple times, so it's not like I was nervous, but I was just like, I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. So, um, the vibes was cool in the beginning. You know, we was kicking, we was laughing, we was doing all of that. So everything was really, really good. So we're bowling and whatnot, and of course, I won because I'm a winner. Duh. <laughs> but no, really, I did win. I did win the bowling game. After that, after we're done bowling... Everything is cool. We're enjoying each other's company. And we're like, you know what? It's still kind of early. Let's just go get some food somewhere to sit down and whatnot. So we decided to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, which was like down the street from the bowling alley. So we went there. You know, they're open pretty late. So we went there. We sat down, got a table, was going to get some food and all of that stuff. My date ended up actually drinking a little bit too much, which was not cute. Red flag number one. <laughs> Okay, um, so I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this. Um, yeah, so he had drank a little bit too much, and um, he was, like, not really all together there, like, we was at the table. So I was like, okay, um, what's going on here? <laughs> but he was like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So I was like, okay, fine. So we get food, we eat, we talk, we laugh, everything is fine, you know what I'm saying? So everything is cool. And then we um, leave the restaurant and we're like, we can just, you know, chill and talk a little bit in the car or whatnot, right? So, <laughs> I get in his car and my friend's in the car we drove with uh, his friend. So, we're just in the parking lot. You know, we're in the parking lot, we're talking. Next thing I know, this man starts the car and I'm like, what you doing? What you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> If we, we're done, we're done here, okay. Like, no, uh, we're just gonna go for a little drive. So I'm like, okay, we can stay in the area. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm thinking, you know, we're gonna stay within the vicinity and, you know, we'll be good. So that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought. So he starts the car and um, I'm texting my friend, I'm like, girl, start the car. Start the car. <laughs> and so I'm like, follow us, please. And we end up driving out the restaurant and, you know, we're going down the, down the street and the street goes into the highway. So I remember sitting there and I'm like, okay, um, don't turn to this highway. Don't, don't get on this highway. 
Because that's, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. Do not get on this highway. So it's like, no, we good. We just going, it's real quick. We're going for a little ride. Real... Hmm. Don't get on the highway. What does he do? Gets on the highway. I'm like, okay, here goes another red flag. Pop, pop, you know, just popping up my face. Red flag. I'm like, okay. He ain't listening. He not, he not trying to hear me. What? Okay. He gets on the highway. And I told my friend to follow us. Okay? So she is right behind me. Thankfully. With his friend. So his friend is, is calling. Like, what are you doing, dude? Like, why are you on the highway? Like, these girls don't live this way. You know what I'm saying? So I, his friend was trying to figure out what was he doing. So when I say this man kept on driving and driving and driving. And... If you're from Chicago, then you know I live in the suburbs. So, um, the bowling alley was in the suburbs. And so when he got on the highway, we ended up driving all the way, almost to 95th. Okay? If you're from Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. 95th, we were on the highway for a little while. A little minute. Okay? Because he was driving fast and all those types of things. And I was just like, my life is in danger okay my life is in danger right now and so we ended up all the way i was like you need to stop get off on an exit and get me out of here like please just take me back to where we was enough with the games like i'm done i'm over it um yeah i told him i was over it and like uh, he laughing thinking like all of this is funny i'm like no dude like please can we turn around? Like, I, I should not be out here. Like, please. <laughs> okay? So it's like, please get off at the exit. He finally gets off at the exit. Imagine my friend is still following us with her, with his friend in that car with her. So I'm like, what in the world did I just get myself into? Like, this man was not, one, not listening to me. Because I said, please, get off. And he, we passed multiple exits. And I was like, why are you doing this? What are, what is the point of this? I don't got time. I'm not playing with you. It was. Now that I think about it, I was just so naive and so stupid. Okay, so dumb. But he finally gets off at an exit, and we get we go back to obviously where the restaurant was, where we left off. And I was like, this was not funny. I'm mad at you. Like, don't pull this ever again. Like, what do you think this? I was very upset. I was not happy. And um, he was very apologetic. And I was like, I don't really know you yet. And this was not cool at all. At all. But yeah, this man drove me around the place. And I was like, is this how I, is this how I die, God? Like, is this it? <laughs> is this it for me? Like, this man's about to kidnap me and take me all the way to the south side of Chicago. And... <laughs> what's gonna happen to me but my friend was actually gonna follow me the entire way obviously because what else was she gonna do but she followed me like I said we get back to the restaurant where we left off and I told him straight up I was like this was not okay at all this was not okay you don't do this to somebody on a first date this is our first date and you tried to kidnap me kidnap me and he's like I didn't kidnap you I was like yes you did yes yes you did you kidnapped me and I didn't appreciate it and he's laughing and things like this whole thing was a joke and I was like but it really wasn't it really wasn't and after all that you think that I would like completely not talk to him I wouldn't have anything to do with him and lo and behold apologized and I was like don't pull that ever again and my dumb self decided to go ahead and talk to him again Continued to talk to him like an idiot and it never worked out. It didn't work out. I knew it wasn't going to work out. So I don't even know why I put myself through that. But I don't know. It was, things were cool. He just wasn't for me. Like I knew I was playing myself. Okay. I knew I was playing myself. That's why I'm just over dating. Okay. But yeah, that was, it was a scary experience just because I really was like, dude was not listening to me when I told him to pull over on an exit like get off the highway and stop playing with my life and he was not listening to me but yeah I knew he was crazy from the beginning I should have known I should have known I don't know why I continue to talk to him but 
it didn't work out. It didn't. It would have never worked out. Like y'all don't understand. He was cute, but he was crazy. Okay, he was cute and crazy, and I don't do cute and crazy. It's gotta be cute. <laughs> we don't do crazy. <laughs> okay. That is the story of the time when I got kidnapped on the first date, and uh, that will never happen again. I will never put myself in a situation like that. I should have knew what I was doing but you know what I was trying to be fast and be cute out here and it backfired on me mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah that's my story time I hope y'all enjoyed <laughs> don't be like me don't be stupid don't make bad decisions on a first date if you feel like something is wrong it's probably wrong you feel me and I should take my own advice <laughs> I will I have I actually I have so that and never worked, wouldn't work, and that's in the past. And it's funny to me now, I'm just like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Alright, so that is the entire story. I hope you guys enjoyed my <laughs> kidnap story. It was close, y'all. It was close. I really thought I was that was it for me. But I'm glad I survived. I'm glad I survived. But yeah, so that's all I have. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the story time. If you want more story times, let me know. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And hit the bell notification button right next to that subscribe button. So you don't miss the next upload from your girl. And yeah, don't get kidnapped. Period. <laughs>